Hello there. So um, this is Lynn Sun. Uh, I'm Phil. I'm a Docker captain, uh, STSM at IBM. Lynn Sun is a senior software engineer and master inventor. And this is going to be 20 minutes. We're going to get you through a lot of uh, information, but we'd love to talk to you afterward if, if you have more questions. I'm going to let Lynn kick us off. Okay, great. So we're going to talk about Watson. Um, we're going to go through some of the user cases with Watson and how Watson and Container are great match together. And then Phil is going to show us an interesting application. We added the Watson cognitive capability to it. So what is Watson? You guys probably already know. Uh, in 2011, Watson built, uh, beats two of the prior um, competitors, uh, the first place uh, in the Jeopardy. Today, IBM Bluemix really made all the Watson API available to developers at your fingertips. So you can go to IBM Bluemix and uh, access to any of these Watson APIs. I truly believe the world is going to get smarter every day with technologies like Watson. How many of you hate abuse on social media? Raise your hand. I really hate them. What Twitter is doing really interesting in this space is they are using Watson to analyze natural language and nuances within natural language to actually stop any abuse before it actually happens using Watson Tone Analyzer to be able to analyze the tones of the tweets and then detect the patterns before the abuse actually spread out. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I actually come from Raleigh, so I had uh, the longest flight NAS, uh, yesterday afternoon. I was stuck in Dallas for many, many hours. Uh, my flight got canceled like multiple times. And I was at the airport and uh, finally they direct us to talk to American airline customer service. At that moment, I really had wished Watson would actually have more of these uh, concierge services, bots there to help with American Airlines because the line was literally two hours. So this is a TJ bot from Watson. It can analyze your tones, analyze your tweets to be able to know, are you mad about the traveling? Um, to be able to answer your questions, um, to be able to scale really well. Think about America and they only have like two people helping us uh, yesterday with hundreds of flights got delayed. Um, the other thing with Watson is it can actually do content recommendation, be able to recommend what are the contents you should be watching based on your social media interest, your friend's social media interest, and also based on uh, weather incidents. For example, envision you are traveling in Dallas yesterday and your wife might be at home watching her favorite show. With Watson, it actually can switch the content to alert your wife, hey, there's a big hurricane or weather incidents with Dallas where your husband is at. You really should be texting him, make sure he's safe. As Solomon mentioned, uh, Docker container is spread into every single industry now. You can see Watson not only in entertainment, traveling, it's also spread out in literally every single industry. So it's a great match for Watson and containers to go together. As Phil mentioned, I'm a master inventor with IBM. I have a lot of uh, inventions. I'm not sure if you guys understand the patent. Um, it normally takes three to five years for an invention to become an issue patent uh, with the patent office. So these are some of my inventions I like to talk about because uh, with Watson, I really feel uh, it can empower the invention and bring it to realities. So the first one is envision you are presenting like me. I don't know many of you here, but I would like to give examples that can resonate really well with you. With Watson, we can use personal insight 
to understand what is your interest, what is your hobby. So when I give metaphor and examples, I can choose the ones that would resonate with the cloud, with the crowd. The second one is envision you are on tweets at DockerCon at the conference with technology like Watson, be able to understand what everybody else is tweeting and texting around you. Think about that would be a huge help with you to be able to predict your text based on the environmental factor. So that's my other patent. Um, the other one is also one of my favorite. I know we everybody has been so busy, there's just not enough time to give people feedback. With Watson technology like Tone Analyzer, when you have a conversation with someone, either speech to like a live conversation like what we have, or when you actually have a text message with someone, Watson Tone Analyzer can help you analyze how happy you are with the conversation and be able to quickly inject the feedback to the other chat participant you are talking to. So these are really interesting examples of my invention uh, that we can really leverage Watson to make the world a much better place. Let's quickly talk about Watson and containers. So IBM Bluemix is the landing page where you can deploy any of your Watson services. And IBM Container Service really made it easy to, for you to tie Watson services into your containers running IBM Cloud, but you don't have to use IBM Bluemix uh, Container Service. You can actually run um, containers with Watson from the laptop, like Phil's laptop, or any other cloud. Uh, with that, I'm going to pass on to Phil uh, to show us the real code. Thank you, Lynn. Um, so yeah, Lynn and I actually just spoke, um, I guess it was just last month at IBM Interconnect. And uh, our focus there was trying to show different application deployment technologies. Um, IBM Bluemix was the focus of that. IBM's Interconnect was our big conference about our cloud. Um, and I was kind of tired of demos, demo applications that were kind of the hello world uh, type applications. So we tried to create something that maybe was a little more interesting to what people actually do, which you're at a conference, so you probably traveled here. Uh, you probably came via an uh, airplane, unless you have boats or cars or trains that you got here. But most likely you flew here. And so we took a bunch of services that are available, APIs that are available. Uh, we use free tier services. Uh, to make it simple for others to replicate and, and try out what we did. Uh, but if you ever use the TripIt application, uh, they have an API, so if you log your trips in TripIt, uh, you can access that via API. Flight Stats is a really cool API for looking up information. Is my flight delayed? What's its current status? Um, they also have a neat connections capability, so I can give it two airports, a time of day, how many hours to look, and they'll tell me all the connections between two points on any airline. Uh, we pulled from our own weather company data to show weather information. Uh, but I don't want to spend too much time on that because that's not necessarily our focus other than to say, this application seemed pretty cool. You could log in. It would show you, here's my next trip. Uh, here are your flights. Some weather data would be inserted. I know these screens are pretty small, so um, you can actually look at this later. It's uh, on GitHub, you can play with it yourself. Uh, but that seemed pretty cool. But then Lynn said, hey, DockerCon's coming up. We should like uh, give a talk about how you could inject Watson capabilities into an application. And since we had just you know, built this application, it's like, hey, we should use that one and find a way to use Watson services with it. So again, I'm going to skip over um, you know, sort of the complicated application details. Uh, but all we did was really add the Watson conversation service, and it became not just a static application that sort of gave us some information. It became our personal concierge for travel. Like Lynn said, that's one of the powers of Watson is sort of adding these new capabilities. Um, again, I'm not going to talk about all the things we talked about at Interconnect. Uh, our sort of end result was that we really had a containerized 
um, microservice-based application. So we had shown uh, interconnect that we could uh, take the weather information out of it into a microservice. Um, and so it, it was really an, actually an easy step to add in a conversation microservice that used the Watson APIs. Um, and then basically change our application from this static uh, web page to an actual conversation that showed some of the same details, used the same APIs, used the same services. Um, so at this point, we have about 10 minutes, so I will try and rush through. I'm gonna switch mics. Test. So the first thing I will try and show you, and again, I apologize um, if you're in the back, it's maybe a little hard to see the screens. Uh, but as Lynn said, there are a lot of services in IBM Bluemix for various parts of the Watson API. We don't have time to talk about all those, tone analyzer, image recognition. So we just wanted to show you the conversation service. So as you can see, um, I created a, a free tier conversation service. Again, I don't have to use that from within Bluemix. Once I have it, uh, I have service credentials, so an API key that I can use from anywhere uh, and talk to the, to the IBM Cloud. Um, the, the most interesting thing about the conversation service is that I actually get a conversation workspace um, that has two very key things. One is intents, and so basically I, I create a bunch of ways that people talk about things, and then Watson fills that in with their analytics of, you know, I'm stuck in, we know that's probably something about a flight problem. Uh, my flight got canceled. So you, you provide some of these intents, you create them. Um, and then entities are, are parts of that conversation that you want to extract and know about programmatically. So the fact that you mentioned an airport name or that you're talking about a trip. And so um, I have synonyms like business trip or reservation or other ways that people use that. The nice thing about this uh, workspace is that I can actually try it out and say, um, when is my next trip? And I see that I hit my when intent and that I was talking about a trip. So even if I say, when is my next um, reservation, that still hits on my trip entity. So again, programmatically now, when I use the API, I'm gonna get information about these intents and entities uh, in my application. Um, so let's look at um, how I actually added this, this microservice. So as Lynn said, we can use this from, from anywhere. Uh, so I already had a compose file, a Docker compose file, V3, uh, using Docker stack deploy. Um, if I scroll up, my weather service was already there. Uh, my flight assist application was already there. So I simply added this conversation service block, uh, put it on the backend network. I, I'm using secrets, so my Watson username, password, the conversation workspace, which links me to those entities and intents. So I added that to my, my uh, compose file and I can Docker uh, stack deploy that. And you can see here on my Mac, I'm using Docker for Mac uh, with the latest release. I see that my services, my flight assist, my weather service, and now my conversation service are all uh, up and running. And so, you know, again, this gives me a simple way to try out my application, try out my new uh, microservice. And so let's actually go to our application. So again, Flight Assist uses the TripIt information, so uh, I have to authenticate with my TripIt details. That allows me to query my next trips. Um, I'm not a designer, so it looks blank, but there's a question. Ask a question about your upcoming travel here in the lower left. Um, so I can say, when is my next trip? And similar to our old static app, it's loaded uh, your trip DockerCon in Austin, Texas. Now you see I've already flown here, so it's now showing me my, my travel home because for demo purposes, uh, I wanted some kind of details there to show you. Now I can say, are there any alternate 
flights available. So again, it already knows that I'm traveling from Austin back to my home airport of Charlottesville, Virginia. And so it says I've loaded alternate flights for, between your origin and destination. And again, using the flight uh, stats API, I've got tons of other ways to possibly get back to Charlottesville with different durations, different flights, different airlines. Um, again, so that kind of replicated what we already had in the prior application. Uh, but now I can say something like, I'm stuck. And so because I programmed in those intents and entities, it notices that I have some sort of problem. I could have said my flight was canceled. Uh, Watson would have recognized all those as being about this problem state. And I didn't mention an airport, so it actually said, so where are you right now? So like Lynn last night, she was stuck in Dallas. Uh, so I can say Dallas, and it says, let me see if I can help you get from Dallas to your destination via an alternate flight. And so again, it used the Flight Stats API, and I actually, since she was coming to Austin, I used Austin as the destination just for a demo. And you can see here's all the Dallas to Austin flights. Uh, it gets pretty hairy. You can actually go back to Houston. You can go all the way to Las Vegas and then come back to Austin. You know, depending on how painfully you're stuck, maybe that's helpful in a, in a, in a flight situation. So again, it's fairly, fairly straightforward, fairly simple, but we had a static application. Um, now we added this conversation microservice, redeployed our application, and now we have this new mode of operation that gives us a little more feel of I'm actually conversing and getting more, more information, more data than I could via kind of this static view. So let me just jump back to my chart since we're almost uh, out of time. Is that other mic? All right, so um, as Lynn said, you know, Watson isn't the only AI service out there. Many people are getting into the space of cognitive computing. Uh, we think it's very powerful. Uh, we think Watson has a lot of capabilities that are very interesting. Uh, definitely the world's getting smarter. There's a lot of power in application developers to, to do some very interesting things and combining that with containers and orchestration systems makes it very easy to take an application you already have add this capability and do some very interesting things. So we'd love to see you guys uh, do interesting things like that using whatever services you're interested in. You can find us on Twitter and ask more about it. We'd love for you to go to our GitHub project, uh, which also uh, the microservices are there, all the information about deploying it is there. Um, so we'd love to have feedback, ways that you know it could be done better. Um, and so I think that's it. I don't think we have time for questions, but we'll be up here and love to answer questions or talk to you about anything you'd like to. Thank you. Thank you, guys. If you guys are willing to try our Watson services, you just go to bloomix.net. Um, most of our Watson services has a free tier, so you should be able to use it for free and build something cool. Maybe Phil will be recruited by American Airlines. <laughs>